Hello everyone. We are Dang and Harish from Bukit Panjang Government High School, and together we are Locomotion. Our World Cup experience has been wonderfully enjoyable. It has given us the chance to learn a lot, not just about ourselves, but learn the personalities needed of a future robotics engineer as well. The category we are participating in is the U19 Autonomous Driving category. And our problem is to make the robot move from the starting point in cyan to the finish in pink. The problem-solving steps in our challenge are choosing the best route, roughly coding for the best route, and fine-tuning the robot's speed and performance so that the robot can look like I am speed. The result we achieved is N53.8 seconds which brings us to the conclusion that the robot followed our desired path at a decent pace to finish the challenge successfully. Analysis Our challenge mission is to code for the robot to move from the start in cyan to the finish in pink, passing through all the orange checkpoints. Our mini tasks include 1. Identify the best route passing all checkpoints. Three paths were considered by our team. We selected the path highlighted in pink, which is shorted by distance but involved a very long shortcut section without any white lines. Another more consistent path is highlighted in yellow. This path is longer but takes fewer shortcuts and there are more sections with white lines to guide the robot. A third path in Cyan was considered. This path takes the longest way around the challenge map but is easiest to code and is the most consistent of all three. Mini task 2. Use the AI development panel to code for a desired path. This process can be split into three steps. Step 1, code for the first two checkpoints as shown. Step 2, take all the checkpoints needed to, short to shorten the path to checkpoint 3. And step 3, from checkpoint 3, move to the finish. Mini task 3, fine tune the speed settings to optimize the runtime. And will the overall mission be resolved if the mini tasks are completed? It's a resounding yes. The AI algorithm that uh, we used were very simple. Using the AI development panel, we created a simple 9 condition line tracing script with 7 conditions for driving and 2 hard-coded conditions for exceptional situations. There are also conditions for smooth turns instead of 90 degree turns in all turning places except two. The tools and resources that we used include the AI development panel, the C programming language for advanced actions and conditions, colored decision markers for taking shortcuts and correct turns, and also our own perseverance, which is a human resource. The advantages of using the resources mentioned are as follows. The AI development panel is the most straightforward to use and takes less time to code. The C programming language is to code for specific advanced actions and advanced conditions. The color decision markers are helpful because standing still at the intersection and making a 90 degree turn would take more time than smoothly curving left or right. And these markers exist in all the best places to facilitate such decision making. Our perseverance was also helpful as it took plenty of trial and error to make the robot behave as we wished, but most importantly, we did not give up doing what we set out to do. The implementation of our code was as follows. The method was to simply follow the mini tasks. 1. Identify the best route. 2. Code for best route. And 3. Fine tune the speed settings. The pseudocode of uh, our script is uh, starts as follows and continues as follows. Does the robot go as what you have planned and coded? It took some time for the robot to behave as expected especially trying to approach the white line at an angle as close to 90 degrees as possible. If not, what was the possible cause? The robot did not always perfectly exit the preceding navy marker at such an accurate angle as to approach the upcoming white line exactly perpendicularly, 
Sometimes the robot even drifts so far to the right as to slip out of the track entirely. How did you fix the issue? Using an advanced condition, we were able to make the robot's right wheel spin faster than the left by one, just enough for the robot to self-correct any error incurred after leaving the navy marker. Please state the debugging process. Step one: Identify that the robot is frequently drifting right and off track. Step two. Command the robot to have its right wheel spin slightly faster than the left wheel. Step three: Fine tune the speed difference and the duration of the correction to ensure best reliability when approaching the white line. Conclusion and further work: If you have used other methods to solve the task, please include the result comparison chart. Very quick after starting to solve the task, the robot had already been successfully coded to take the CN path. The comparison chart shows that the time taken to go to V4 for the CN path would be one minute and zero eight seconds. For the pink path, it would be forty six seconds. Hence, taking alternate paths would most likely not have shortened the time taken to finish. If you were asked to solve the same challenge again, how would you improve your strategy? We would most likely attempt to use Python code to implement differential line tracing and achieve higher speeds across all sections of the track. This hopefully would give the robot better steering performance and smoother line tracing. Hence, the speed can be improved by 10 to 15, and a few seconds can be shaved off. However, we still need to learn how to accurately use Python in the Cold Space Simulator to make the robot behave as expected at checkpoints first. As another option, we can also keep tweaking and hopefully increasing motor speeds in the AI development panel to allow the bot to move faster without veering off track. Learning experience. Share your Cold Space learning experience. Highlight the following: What have you learned using Cold Space Robot? Using the Cold Space Robot software was hard. But what we learn is that Coldspace Robot presents us with a challenge. We always want to take the easy way out. But what if the only way to make challenges easy is to accept the ch- the challenge and face it? Challenge yourself. It's the only path that leads to growth. Said by Morgan Freeman. When we were wrong, we sought the solution. By doing so, we were evolving from what we were into a mature self. One with the ability to cope with the d- challenge efficiently. When we keep trying, we gain experience. We gain experience on what to do, what not to do. Through this wonderful learning opportunity, we have learned that the whole point of Cold Space Robot is to try it, keep trying it, until you get the solution. To sum it all up, where there is a will, there is a way. What have you gained through the Robot Cup Singapore Open 2021 Cold Space Challenge? I've gained the knowledge of how to tackle a problem. When there is a problem, there's always a solution. I've gained the skill of coding the solution to solve a problem. I've learned that this competition is the start of mankind's next great leap. Yes, autonomous driving, a driverless car. Though we may not think it, think of it as easy, it is not. It requires the essential skills of navigation, obstacle avoidance, and most importantly, what to do in an emergency situation. All these tasks require something as capable as the human brain itself. Thus, I feel that through this co- Ro- Robo Cup Singapore Open 2021, I have gained the basic skill of programming a car to autonomously move by itself, and advancing the skills could result in the next fully re- reliable self-driven car. What are the most important points that you wish to share with the other Cold Space game players? No matter whether we win prizes or even qualify for finals or not. It's way more important to savor the enjoyment in competing. Moreover, corner cutting may have saved plenty of time and delivered significantly better results in the competition. However, in real life, there's 
are no shortages of examples to show that corner cutting is dangerous, legal, or even fatal. We therefore wish to remind everyone as responsible engineers of the future to put the safety of persons first when coding for autonomous vehicles. Sometimes the long way around is safety bound. And this brings the end of our team presentation. Thank you very much for watching.